Okay, so this is the problem with the uh, PC board. It's uh, giving all sorts of glitches when I change it or whatever. Or so sometimes it'll turn on by itself. It's w see that's actually stopped working now. It's working again. Yeah. So what I found out is that it's actually the PC board because its behavior changed depending on the position of this board and I can tell that there's been a bit of heat this area here is discolored so that's a dead giveaway as well this one here just pulls out just pulls off, that's just an earth. Um, obviously I've disconnected the power supply, something you can do in your own time. So this is the board here. Um, if you've got some testers, test it. In fact, that's what I'm going to do right now. <laughs> this is the part. So it is 520 to 5, DP, DDP 3.5. Um, the part number 528397NAP and uh, we just have to find out if it's going to work. So now I'm going to pull this out. Just I'm going to check it against the board that I've got here, make sure it's got the same sort of connections. So it's looking like the buttons on the top are the same. So I'm just going to swap all those across to this and then we'll test it. Sweet. It looks like I'll just pull them out. Oh, easy. Multicolored. Yeah, just a little wiggle backwards and forwards, um, and it seems to work pretty easily. Black get rid of multi. Here she is. Chassis harness. Those two on. Very easy. LCD badge is up to this. Perfect fit. Red. It's a dispenser. Multicolored. So 
show you previously. The tab's broken off. Another one. This one seems to be sitting quite nicely. Locked in because it's probably got a picture of my butt. So it just has to slide up and in. Now I'll turn the power back on and see if she's going. Yeehaw! Okay, it started on fast. There's no flashing on the LCD display. Let's go, yeah, let's just run it on, we'll try it running through, yep, she's all working. We'll go to a fast wash, put it in, and see how she goes. Oh, man, now that is satisfying. Too easy. That's the sound of success. That's probably one of the easiest appliance repairs I've ever done in my life. Thank you Fisher and Paykel for not doing planned obsolescence. <laughs>